welcome to my Terra Corner. So as you can see, not much has changed on my table. Uh, I'm still using the winter weight tarot, and if you need explanation on it, uh, you can go over to my uh, reading on Prince William. Uh, I will link uh, down in the description uh, the link to the site of the creator of this deck and the uh, other decks that he is creating, like the Groovy Weight and uh, also the Normans and uh, Vera Sibila decks that he has created. So you can go there and browse if you'd like. And I did change the uh, Oracle deck to the Precious Gems Oracle uh, because I am reading now the yearly forecast for the Princess of Wales, Princess Catherine. So she is a precious gem, isn't she? And she also has the most beautiful jewelry when it is custom made or when it is a something that she picked up on accessories it doesn't really matter i mean if you have the eye for beautiful jewelry and if you have this fashionista uh, taste and you know how to pick up the beautiful clothings and uh, the amazing jewelry then even if you pick up something uh, in by ten dollars or twenty dollars uh, it can still be amazing. It doesn't have to be uh, something that is uh, tens of thousands or, ten or millions of dollars uh, or millions of pounds worth. But still, she does have the ability to enjoy the crown jewels, which others don't. Anyway, so uh, after a, a not so easy reading for Prince William, I am curious to see what kind of reading uh, we will get for Princess Catherine. And I am moving right ahead. So before I start, let's get, uh, let's look at, <laughs> I'm sorry, please look at my description box for my full disclaimer. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational, it is open to interpretation, it exists as assumptions and speculation, and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. Okay, so clearing the deck. Let's start asking. So... Yearly call, uh, forecast for 2023 for Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales. Yearly prediction for 2023 for Catherine, Princess of Wales. The year ahead prediction for Catherine, Princess of Wales. Princess Catherine. The year ahead forecast for Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales. Okay, so let's cut the deck. And I'm using the same spread I've used before. So the first card is the sunset or the previous, uh, the lessons from the previous year. And what I'm getting here is, once again, we got the devil. Okay, so the devil energy is there for the prince and princess of Wales. And if Princess Catherine uh, is, is coming out of the, the, um, uh, of the energy of the devil, uh, Prince William is coming into it. So uh, last year was a difficult year for Catherine with all of the attacks from uh, Harry and Meghan. And I suppose it wasn't easy for her during the time when the Queen died and during the time that she had to go out on a walkabout with Harry and Meghan and all sorts of attacks that were specifically on her. 
uh, in the past year. And now they started moving towards William. So the end devil energy shifted from Catherine towards William. So last year, the devil energy was more focused on Catherine. Now it's more focused on William. And I think that that is why I got such a difficult reading for them when I did for William and Catherine when I did a relationship reading for them because it's very hard to maintain a relationship when you have a devil energy looming there and and uh, influencing your relationship and for influencing everything that you do. Now, for Catherine, it was really, uh, although she was amazing and wonderful and marvelous and she succeeded in everything that she did, she was also always scrutinized by the other side. And uh, there were a lot of uh, accusations. She made uh, Megan cry and she did that and she, there were a lot of accusations against her. She was never able to come out and uh, defend herself. The only person who came out and defended her was her uncle, Gary, Jerry, Gary or Jerry, I'm not sure, uh, Goldsmith, uh, the, her mother's uh, uh, brother. He was the only one who came out and, uh, and defended her. And uh, she's, she, she really is... Uh, going through or went through a very difficult time. And this is the lesson from the last year was to not give in into the devil's energy, not let the devil energy rule your life. This is as a lesson, it's a very good lesson because the devil energy can really control you when it comes in. When someone is spewing hatred, when someone is spewing uh, jealousy at you, it's very hard to conduct yourself as a normal person, as someone who is trying to uh, go by and by and do your duties and do your work and, uh, and, um, and deal with life and, uh, and uh, educate your children and uh, and, you know, take care of everything. I mean, even if you're not royal, when you have someone, for example, at work that is a, a jealous at you and is a spreading all sorts of rumors against you when you have difficulty with your... Uh, with your um, let's say partner or you have difficulty with a with a mother-in-law or with a sister-in-law that is uh, that 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 hates you and uh, spreads all sorts of rumors against you or even a neighbor that ha hates you and spreads all sorts of rumors against you this can actually make you paralyzed. The devil energy can actually paralyze you. So the lesson to learn from this is not to submit to that, to that, to that energy, not to let that energy uh, rule your life and not to neglect the things that you need to take care of, to be very careful not to neglect yourself, not to neglect your duties, not to neglect your children, not to neglect your husband, to make sure that you conduct yourself the way that you need to conduct yourself despite the devil energy, despite the hatred, despite the jealousy, despite everything that they're doing to you. And it's not an easy thing to do. It's not. And I know it's not, but it's very, very hard. But it is there and they can do nothing to control that. There is nothing they can do to control that. And it's not going to get easier because the devil energy is not just moving from Catherine to William. So they are both in there, in, in that energy together. So it's just moving from one of them to the other. So it's just still on both of them together. So that's why it's been a very difficult year for both of them. 
Okay, what can she expect for next year? And we're getting here the Nine of Pentacles. And that is a great card because the Nine of Pentacles is a card that shows that she will be recognized and she will get what she deserves. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of earn, getting what you deserve, getting earns, earn what you deserve after working hard. So she will be recognized for the hard work that she's doing. This is about profit after working hard. So this is a card of success after working after hard work so people will will go on recognizing her hard work and if people start uh, uh, in, try to criticize her for not working hard enough uh, i think that in the next year people will start realizing that she's working very very hard this is a card of even pregnancy so i don't know maybe we will see her pregnant next year uh, this is a card of a uh, perfection uh, in every aspect and this is a card of abundance and success but I really hope that uh, maybe we will see her pregnant. I mean, she's, she's on the verge of uh, the, that age that, I mean, like I know that one of my best friends, uh, she, was, uh, she kept saying, I don't, I don't want more than two children, two children, that's enough for me. I don't want any anymore. And then she was turning 40, she turned 40 and she said to me, you know what? This is, this is it, this is my last chance. And she went and she, and she started you know, trying and she got pregnant really ver very easily, despite the fact that she needed treatments for the first child and for the second child. And, uh, and she got pregnant really easily and she has a very wonderful uh, thir oh, yeah, uh, 13 year old uh, boy now and uh, it's it's beautiful so she and she's one of my best friends and um, it was just um, uh, so this is like this is like the as we call it the last station so i really do hope that catherine will decide to do that and to do to go on for the fourth child this year okay next card obstacles so what are the things that are going to be there as an obstacle for catherine next next year and we get the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles is a card of getting what you what what you need the, this is realizing the, what you need in the material world. So uh, this is another pregnancy card. As you can see, this, the, this is a pregnancy card. Uh, and uh, this is uh, about thinking long term. This is about children. But when it is in the negative, it is uh, about fear of... Uh, Fear of not being able to real, to to get what you need, and this is doesn't have to be financial. It can also be about other things that are needs. It doesn't have to be tangible needs. It could be also uh, other things that are emotional needs. Uh, this is mostly about a wrong judgment in many cases about insecurities and uh, especially uh, the ace of pentacles uh, when we're talking about getting what you need in the material world you need well if we need if we want to the universe to to get us what we need we need to know what we need to know how to project it to the universe so we need to know what we need sometimes we don't know what we need sometimes it's harder to come out with a list of things that we really really need in order to um, to and to project that to the universe so the universe will know that this is something that we need in order to give it to us and this is the most difficult problem here to to know what you need 
to know exactly what you need. And sometimes the best way to do that is just to go to a therapist. So this is going to be an obstacle. So maybe she will encounter uh, some, ki uh, some kinds of uh, uh, places where she will see that she made the wrong judgment. Maybe she will be in some places where she will feel insecure. Uh, maybe she will feel that she's not getting what she really, really need. And maybe she will have to find a way of understanding exactly what it is that she needs. Okay, next card, strength or how to harness her inner power. And what I'm getting here is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is an interesting card because the Seven of Pentacles is a card that speaks about uh, being disappointed from reality and risking whatever, whatever you can in order to reach the truth. And this is about, about a person that is ready to take chances, ready to, that wants more. And it goes very well. And you can see that the cards here are, are in, uh, in, in a line uh, to one another. And it speaks very well with the Ace of Pentacles because the Ace of Pentacles speaks about realizing your needs. And then the, comes the Seven of Pentacles and speaks about being, a, being a ready to risk everything in order to reach the truth because, because you are ready to take a chance and to get what you really need. This is about realizing your needs, realizing her needs. She is going to be very much focused about realizing her needs. And this is why I think that it is the seven, uh, and, the, and this is the third pentacles card. And this is why I think that it is, this card does speak about pregnancy, because you do remember that pregnancies, at least in the beginning of pregnancies, are very difficult for, uh, for uh, Catherine. Dif pregnancies, uh, the beginnings of pregnancies are very difficult for Catherine. She has this a sickness that is called a hyperemesis gravidarum. That is a, a, a sickness that is a, something that happens for a women in this first a trimester, sometimes even the second trimester of a pregnancy when she is vomiting without any a, ability to stop. Uh, getting de dehydrated, unable to get out of bed. And I know that she was hospitalized in previous, uh, in previous pregnancies. She was hospitalized to get IV flu fluids. So she is very sick in the beginning of pregnancies. So all of this talk about needs and realizing her needs could very, very much be around a pregnancy and being ready to do everything that she can in order to get what she wants, to get what she needs. So maybe she needs a child, she needs another child, and she's willing to go through that sickness, to go through that very difficult time in order to uh, to get that uh, next child. I don't know, that is my uh, intuition speaking, really. This is not something that I can say for sure sure that it's coming out of this card, but we have two pregnancy cards here. And the Seven of Pentacles is a card that speaks about disappointment. So maybe in a way, she is hoping that uh, in the next pregnancy, she won't be that sick. Uh, she has a lot, of, uh, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of work. And because the 
the Sussexes are not working royals. Uh, they are only getting more and more responsibilities. And don't forget that there is the coronation uh, next year. So, and there is also the trooping of the colors and she's getting more and more responsibilities. So it's going to be very hard for her if she is getting, going to be pregnant and if she is going to be sick again. So altogether, uh, it, it does speak to me that it's going it, that it might be connected to that but if it's not connected to that it could be about feeling that she's not getting her needs met that she's not getting what she wanted that she wants more from life or from her relationship or from whatever it is that uh, is uh, that is troubling her. And remember, we started this reading with the devil energy that started this reading that comes from last year. So this could also show us that uh, it's still looming there. And this could be, uh, this could be, the devil energy could even influence, and I think it influences her relationship with William. So maybe this is all connected. Uh, well, as you can, your guess is good as mine, and I would love you to tell me what you think in the comments. Okay, so next card is the advice card, and the advice is the moon, and the moon is a card that says we need to talk about it. So this card is telling us uh, that Princess Catherine would benefit from uh, some kind of mental health therapy, some kind of help in that, co that connection, in that avenue. Uh, the moon is a card of someone who is having emotional problems. This is also a mother card, so this could also mean that she could help me very much uh, in touch with her mother that she will have to she will need her mother so that could also come with uh, with a pregnancy you know you need i i remember in my pregnancies i needed my mother all the time but i had very terrible very very difficult pregnancies i mean i had surgeries in my first pregnancy and in my third pregnancy i mean in my third child uh, one of the pregnancies I lost my child, I lost two ch children, two pregnancies I lost. And uh, I lost, in, in my second child, I lost the twin, a twin. So all of my pregnancies were very difficult and I needed my mother to come over and take care of me. So, uh, so you know, a woman when it's, she's, when, when, you know, when a woman has problems, when it's difficult, a mother can always, if you have a good relationship with your mother, she can always be there for her and help her. So uh, this is one thing, but also this card shows that she is, this is the advice that maybe she would benefit from some kind of help from talks with someone who is a professional, doesn't have to be a psychologist, but some kind of mental professional. And I'm sure that Catherine will know uh, how to approach that. Okay, next card is the guidance for Catherine for next year. And we're getting the Three of Wands. And I just love it because the Three of Wands is a card of recognition and cooperation. And this card shows us that next year, Catherine will be recognized. Her contribution to the monarchy, to the royal family, will be will be recognized. Uh, she will get the cooperation that she needs for everything that she's doing, for every initiative that she's doing. This is the first success in the Wands uh, suit. So we see here, this is creativity. This is uh, going out on this... Uh, this quest to realize her potential. So 
the guidance for next year is to go out there and to go out to the world, to show herself to the world, to, to be more active, to be more creative, to, to start a, a getting more ideas and uh, pitching more ideas and starting more things like the Christmas Carol concert, like the five questions that she did, more things that she can come up, come up with and more uh, original things that she is coming up with and uh, starting, starting more and more projects from her from her side. So this is a, a beautiful card uh, for a guidance for next year. Okay, so the clarity card or Catherine's personal theme for next year and we're getting the two of cups. So the two of cups and I just love it because that is closing the uh, no, I don't have swords here, which is okay. But I have pentacles and I have wands and I have cups. So I have needs and I have fire and I have emotions. And the two of cups is a card that speaks about being active. Now, I am going to say that the two of cups is about loving energies and about a good relationship but mostly about the two of cups is about becoming more active and not waiting for others to do the work for her so not waiting for others to be the active part not wa not waiting for others to come with ideas but to come with her ideas because she has those ideas so not come waiting for others to pitch the ideas but to come with her own ideas uh, not waiting for william to do things but to come with her own things that she uh, wants to do together and take care of their relationship. This is about not being passive, not, uh, not waiting for others. Uh, this is not about, this is about really be, being uh, active, being the suitor in the relationship. This is about a relationship that is developing and getting more and more deep, deeper and deeper. So it's, this is uh, actually a beautiful card, uh, if you can see here, the mistletoe and the, the two uh, elves, I think. Oh, this is an elf, I don't know what this one is exactly, but uh, it, this, it is a Christmassy card. Okay, so this is a Catherine's theme, and it's only telling her that she needs to be more active next year in order to fulfill her dreams, in order to get what she wants, in order to, uh, to get her mental health in check, in order to get her ideas and to get that devil energy out of their lives as a family. Okay, so that's the tarot and the oracle deck is the precious gems, as I said. So let's see what is the message for Catherine for next year. Okay. okay, so message for Catherine for year 2023. A message for Princess Catherine, Princess of Wales for next year, 2023. And the card that I'm getting is Satellite Kindred Spirits. Let's see what it means. Okay, so you can see this beautiful opaque um, violet uh, color of this uh, gem. 
And this gem is connected to, is, it's associated with the heart, and the third eye, and the crown chakra. And it is known, exceptional. it is exceptional gem that is known for healing properties as well as for being one of the most powerful love stones of all. Now, when we draw the, this, uh, this gem can be placed as a, on the forehead or the third eye during meditation to strength, strength and alleviate despair and emotional turmoil. And when this card is coming up, it is, speci it is especially fortunate for those who find the realities of the world too harsh at times. Uh, okay, so the divinatory meaning is an interest leads to new connections, a meaningful meeting. Someone is just the medicine you need. Time with friends is therapeutic. Sensitivity has its strength, feeling protected and appreciated. And the affirmation of this card is violet light illuminates the darkness. I embrace my sensitivity and am protected from harshness. I attract kindred spirit. I am bathed in a powerful violet light. So it's a beautiful message. And I think it's very fitting for Catherine in regard to the reading that we got. So this is it, and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.